welcome to Jenny Fit Start, your go-to fitness channel for active seniors and beginners. This is a great 15 minute core workout on the floor. This is gonna be working your abdominals, your lower back to give you the core stability and strength you need. So grab a mat and let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the mat face down. Make sure you're not slouching down, but that you're pushing your chest up high. You do this by pushing down through the elbows. Take some deep breaths so that it gives time for your lower back and your muscles and your glutes to relax. This is a great position to be in. It really helps promote the curvature of the lower back. And just hold this position. Take this a step further and work into what we call prone press-ups. Push your hands right under your shoulders and you're going to push up as far as you can. Ideally you want the elbows straight but it's totally fine if you can't get them straight. Go up and down nice and slowly. The most important thing is that you keep your hips on the ground. Don't let your hips rise up. If you can only go up about halfway, that's great, that's fine. You just go up as far as you can, and maybe after three or four times on this video, you're gonna see some improvement where you're able to straighten your arms more and more. All right, let's do one more. Great job. From here, let's get onto our hands and knees. The important thing is that your hands are right under your shoulders, not far out, but right under your shoulders. Take your back and make a big curvature with it, and then arch your back. Curve your back, arch your back, and just go back and forth and do this. We call these cat and cow poses. You can drop your chin to your chest and then bring your chin up. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Now let's get it into a neutral spine and I want you to put your left leg straight out behind you. Hold this position. Then switch legs for me. left leg out again, but this time bring your right arm out. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and we'll hold about 10 seconds. And let's switch. And down. You're going to do the same thing with your left leg out, right arm out. But this time, you're gonna bring your elbow to your knee and then shoot it back out. This requires a lot of core stability and balance. Three, four, five, six, seven. It also promotes great weight bearing through the left wrist. Great job. Okay, let's put our um, knees down and we're gonna go back to a couple of cat-cow stretches just to make it feel good. When you're ready, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, right leg, left arm, elbow to knee, and then shoot out. One, two, make sure you're breathing, three, and your abs are in. Four, five, six, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Very nice. Let's put our hands. 
hands down, we're going to put our knees down too. And what's really going to feel good is a child's pose hold. So just sit back onto your heels, reach your arms out as far as you can, and drop your head all the way to the mat. And if you're doing this correctly, this should feel good. Now let's walk our hands back up and we're going to switch positions. This time, I want you to lie on your back. Go down slowly, no rush. And we're going to do a couple of exercises in this position. This is called a supine position. What we're going to do is walk our hands up to our knees and then walk them back down. I call these beginner sit-ups. You'll notice my shoulders are coming off the ground, but I'm not coming all the way up enough to engage my abdominals. And again, I'm just walking my hands up as far as I can to my knees and walking down. I want you to breathe regularly. If you can think about it, it is helpful if you can exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. If it's too confusing to worry about your breathing, just breathe. Now let's pull your right knee into your chest and give it a good hug and this should feel good to your lower back. And when you're ready we're going to switch legs. So now you're going to pull your left knee into your chest. Easy breathing. Stretching the lower back. All right, y'all. Let's bring both legs up. Put your arms in a T position. And let's rock your knees from one side to the other. This is a great exercise for your lower back and your obliques. An option, if that is too hard, is to put your feet on the ground and let your knees go side to side. You pick which option that you would like to do. The important thing here is that we don't let them just flop over, that we control it. Control the going down part, control the coming up part. Nice and easy, side to side. Controlled movement. Great. Now let's put our feet down on the mat. And we'll bring our arms down as well. The exercise now, it's kind of like a march, but we're in a lying down position. What you're going to do is drop one foot down on the mat, then the other. Drop one heel down for a tap, then the other. You'll notice I'm going nice and slow. I'm not letting the leg fall down. And I want to make sure that you're definitely breathing, engaging the abdominals. but I would like to see if you could do it with your legs a little bit straighter. So this would be a higher level option. If this is too difficult on your lower back, I would go back to the one where we were bending our knees and heel tapping. And we're just going right and then left, lowering the legs down slowly. Let's move on to another exercise. We're going to put our hands right by our side 
and we're gonna lift our hips up as straight as you can so that it looks like there's a straight line going from your shoulder, hips, to knees. You lift up and then you lower down. Lifting the hips up, lowering down. You're doing a great job. You're really pushing down through your heels. You might feel this in the hamstrings, glute muscles, and lower back muscles. marching with your hips down. Great, side to side. And then lower down. Take a little rest. It's gonna feel good if you give those knees a big hug. That is a great way to stretch the lower back. out of this position and we're going to go to a totally different position. This time we're going to go on our side. Pick a side, any side, we'll do both sides. Now I wouldn't prop myself all the way up but I would lie down so that my head is resting on my arm or my head is resting on my hand. What we're going to do is tap our toe two times in the front and then two times in the back. You'll notice my hand is on the mat for balance. If you can do it without your hand on the mat, let's take it off the mat. And then you're gonna to start to work the core a little bit more. The most important thing here is that you don't feel like you're wobbling. Your hips should stay pretty still. lift your top leg, then lift your bottom leg, then lower your bottom leg, then lower your top leg. So it's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. You decide if you want your hand on the mat in front of you for support or if you want to try it without it. time with these nice and controlled slow movements. Let's try one more and relax. Nice work y'all. Now what we do to one side we need to do to the other but before we get there, let's add in some planks. So let's get on your elbows, tuck your toes down on the floor, and when I tell you to raise your hips, you're gonna lift your hips for 20 seconds. If you need your knees on the ground, you may do that. All right, everybody ready? And lift. Try not to arch your back. Try not to do any type of movement, really. And just hold, we're doing 20 seconds, do what you can.
and lower. Ooh, great job. Shake it out a little bit. Do whatever you need to do to stretch your back a little. And then when you're ready, we're gonna do our second set, the exact same thing. Tuck your toes down, elbows on the mat. Ready and lift. 20 seconds. Planks, planks, and more planks. We're almost there, and lower. Very nice, give it back a little stretch. I like planks because they're an, an effective way to work the core muscles without having to move. All right, let's finish up, y'all. We need to do the other side, so get in the same position, but with your other leg on top. Remember, you can use your hand in front for balance or just put it on your body. You're gonna tap your foot two times to the front, two times to the back. Double tap, double tap. And just go back and forth, remembering that you're trying to keep your body and your hips still without too much wobbling. You lift the top leg, then the bottom leg, then lower the bottom leg, then lower the top leg. So it looks like this. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. If you can do it without your hand in front for balance, go for it. Did a hey fantastic job. I am so so excited I have some great news about my YouTube channel after posting lots of videos I am realizing my favorite part my love is really connecting through you with your comments and even our Facebook page so now there is an easy and great way we can really connect with each other it's called a YouTube channel membership and YouTube just approved mine yay so that is why you're seeing a join button right next to the subscribe button on my page. Now, please know my current YouTube channel, Jenny Fitstart, is not going anywhere. It's not going to change and all those videos will still be free to you. But here is the new exciting addition. If you join my membership channel, you will become a part of the group, Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay. So let me explain what that is. If you click join, you will pay a $9.99 monthly membership fee, just like a gym membership fee, but cheaper. So what does that give you? Oh my gosh, lots, get ready. Okay, it's the exciting part. First, a live class once a week. Yep, you heard me right, once a week. So each week you will join me live for a one hour class. Now this will vary, but the format will always include cardio, strength training, and stretching. And guess what? You can comment during the class. How fun will that be? It will feel like you are taking one of my classes in person. And guess what? If you can't make the class, it will be archived into a library so you can do it anytime. This video will only be exclusively for Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay, second, you get a pre-recorded personal training session once a week. Yes, I will videotape myself leading you through a 30-minute lesson, which will target age-appropriate and safe exercises to help with building bone and muscle strength, increase balance, improve posture, aid in weight loss, and increase flexibility. Each week will be fun and different. You will never know what I have up in my sleeves. Now, these private lessons will only 
be available to Jenny's Fit Bunch. And then third, you get no more mid-roll ads. Yes, those disruptive ads in the middle of my videos will now be turned off on any new videos that I add on this channel. So to review, for only $9.99 a month, you get new videos with no ads, one live fitness class a week, and one recorded personal training session a week. Seriously, that comes out to be close to a dollar a class and a dollar a personal training session. I really did wanna make this affordable. And guess what? You can cancel at any time. Y'all, I promise I am committed to you. I am committed to this new channel and I am committed to helping you get strong, stay happy and healthy and build relationships with all of you. It truly brings me so much joy and with over 28 years experience and being a licensed physical therapist, you will be in safe hands with me. So let's connect. Go to my channel, Jenny Fitstart and click join today. I thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Now, let's have some fun and get moving.